Minnesota October the 9th. Here's second and eight. Now with nowhere to go, and the Packers close quickly with Burnett. You can make a, a case as you see Perry right here rip, throw a club into somebody, and then let's use my club to grab it. Doesn't work, but I mean at the end of it, he's all around the ball. So if the Giants are able to pick this up, you know they're they're then in a position to come away with some points of their own. Instead of Perkins, it's rainy on the carry on third and one, and that's surprising to say the least. Now on first down, Wilson steps into it. He's picked. Intercepted by Burnett. His receiver fell down, and Burnett out of bounds near the 25. Graham was the target, and he went down. But Morgan Burnett is having himself one heck of a season. He plays this beautifully. I don't know that there was really much of an opportunity for Russell Wilson to fit that ball in, even if Jimmy Graham had been able to keep his feet. He's got time. He's got Griffin. Griffin loses the football and scooped up by Burnett. Burnett's racing down the sideline, and he is caught from behind by Fuller. Here's what happens when you have athletic and speed guys on the defensive side. So the throw is short. Good decision by Osweiler. And look who comes flying in there. You got Rollins and Gunter and Morgan Burnett always around the football. Plays through the line of scrimmage, covers guys. Just a tremendous safety. They come after him. And he's down at the 33 as Burnett, who got to him. Yep. It's been the, the trend all day today. Morgan Burnett on the outside. They're playing a zone behind it. Dom Capers kind of created this defense. And it's intercepted by Morgan Burnett. First career interception thrown by Dak Prescott, and it comes deep inside his own territory, putting the Packers back in business. Good coverage by Morgan Burnett on tight end Jason Witten.